Hello and welcome to Exegate Initiative. This is where we get to build our own Stargate command. Um, this is kind of thing like uh, Evil Genius meets SG-1, you know? Uh, it's really cool. Basically, we start in a simple underground bunker here. Now, I've gone ahead and I've created myself a little barracks um, or two and a little mess hall and a science lab here. And so far, thank you. Um, I've sent a couple of teams through the Exegate. Here it is. The Stargate itself. Sorry, I must call it the Exegate. I don't know if uh, MGM is going to hit me or Exegate with a lawsuit or something like that. But it's possible. <laughs> I'm sure everything's fine. Everything's absolutely fine. Oh, there's no food for the gators. Okay, let's put another vending machine in there just to sort of... Um, I mean, the food crates come along and they require little robots to come and fill the vending machines up to feed them and stuff like that. So you've got simple, like crew management kind of stuff like that so i've got six scientists at the moment uh two science teams we're going to send science team two through the gate here uh or oh, claim that one and um what we got here is a series of planets that we can connect our exagate to and um then we we send teams to them to, to to study them to find out what the hell is going on basically each planet you select here has got a recommended level as you can see some of them are recommended level one, others two, others four. Um, so I think we're going to go ahead and uh, go to this one right here because it's level one. There's no threat detected. There's This one has got some unusual event going on in it, and I'm not quite ready to send a team there just yet before they hit level two so that they're prepared to deal with it. So we connect to that. We'll create a mission, and we're going to select science team number two and then start the mission, okay? Uh, and what that does is science team number two will gather. Here they go, look. They will gather by the exagate. They will suit up uh, by teleporting uh, half a meter forward. <laughs> and then the exagate lights up. And off they go through to another world to discover things. There we go, off they go. And we'll hear from them if we need to hear from them. Uh, so we've got at the moment, the game is early access, so there's is quite limited at this point on what you can actually build. I'm hoping that, that eventually we'll have control centers and stuff like that. But we, we can build uh, you know, your barracks, mess hall, your lab and your generator room right from the offset, which is what we've got here. Um, and then you sort of you dig out holes, as it were, much in the sort of same way that you did in Evil Genius. You know, you just sort of get your bots to do this. And eventually they'll start digging through the walls. There they go. Uh, so once they've built a room, you can then assign that room a function. Uh, so we need to create a training room. We've just unlocked the training room from, from uh, study. So we go into our tech tree here. We can see I have unlocked the training room, which gives us a bench press. Unlocks the soldier uh, class of recruit that we can have. But then there's uh, some more things here. Uh, that can help improve our soldiers um, later on, but we need science points to get them. Uh, science points uh, are up here. So we've got a whopping 22 science points at the moment because we need to go through the gate more and do more more studying. So in the lab, we've got biocontainment facilities and a biocontainment study desk. We've also got uh, the ability to patent certain discoveries, and this is how you make money in the game your patent stuff. So we've got patents for regeneration, vice, uh, and bioweapon. We can actually create a new one for heat resistance here. It's a simple one, but we'll start writing that. And I don't think there's regeneration again. Another one? Well, we'll start writing that as well. We've got three patents on regeneration. There we go. <laughs> and then we just need to assign someone to the writing desk here. Maria's on it, actually. She's already assigned. So Maria is having a chat right now, isn't she? Maria, you want to maybe, uh, you want to maybe get to work? Yeah? Great stuff. Great. Sarah and Letitia are, are talking right now. So there we go. My bots are still busy building that room. Maria's off writing the patent. And once she's done, these earn us money. As you can see, uh, expected income monthly. Uh, la, 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 la. And that is hopefully going to fund our program. Now, at the moment, we're giving a very generous uh, stipend from, from a committee. Um, and obviously the, the idea is to get the patent 
over the amount of money that committee give us so that they obviously get their investment back and stuff like that. Uh, so we're a corporation. Yeah, I should have started that. But there we go. Science team two completed the mission. They've each brought back seven, five and seven bio samples, which is fantastic because each of those now will go into the bio containers that I've set up in the lab here. And one of them into the research desk. There you go. Little plants. That's cool, isn't it? <laughs> um, now, once they've once they've done that, we then have the ability to write new patents depending on their discovery. So there's another regeneration patent. <laughs> We're going to be winning the freaking prize on regeneration, I tell you. We get that writing as well. Um, now, if you have one scientist writing all the patents, then they'll level up in pattern writing very, very quickly. Um, I didn't realize they get undressed. For... <laughs> they just did their underwear. Oh, well, fair enough. I suppose that's a detail. That's a detail I didn't expect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they just sleep in, sleep in their uniforms. Well, there we go. Okay, so now we've got to mark this room as um, the workout room, basically. We can also stick a nice double door on there. That'll look lovely. I'm hoping that later on versions of this game, they'll add things, decorative items and stuff like that. It can really go nuts with your underground base. Um, but at the moment, like I say before, it's, it's quite limited. And when we do start bringing back like artifacts and stuff like that. Well, there's a whole nother tech tree here just for that. We also can encounter aliens and intelligent uh, species and stuff outside uh, on other planets and whatnot. So the early game here is very much about just sort of building up your research pool, writing the pants for basic stuff, getting that initial sort of uh, uh, income flow kind of thing. But look at this, we're going to write new patterns. We're getting patterns coming out of the wazoo right now, aren't we? Another regeneration pant. So, pants that have more than one theory in them earn more, basically. So, yeah, but you have to just kind of keep keep sciencing, keep sciencing, and there you go. Right, let's take I think Maria off of that. Let's have a look at our how is Maria doing? Uh, pattern writing is going through the friggin' the the, the roof there. So we want to we want to kind of spread that out a bit. So Sarah's got good pattern writing. Maria, excellent pattern writing. And Letitia could use some practice. So I'm going to take Maria off and put Letitia on. And then I'll worry about team two. Um, once I send them on another mission. And then we're going to swap them around to try and, try and level them up evenly. Do you know what I mean? Uh, okay, so we can claim that planet now. Basically, every time you discover a planet and you, you study it and stuff, you can claim it influence to claim planets and my influence i have one influence um which i get three a day basically from claim sectors and stuff like that so i think to be honest i probably should stop expanding a little bit <laughs> uh, two 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 four one one two one okay we'll keep going that way we're going to run into someone uh screw it you know what we're going to go for this one we're going to connect our exit. Every time we make a connection, it uses power. My energy is down to five, so I'm going to need to create more generators. Then science team two. Off they go. 200% experience. Hopefully, the unusual event is not like life-threatening or something. So a power plant here. Just add a, I'm just going to add two generators in here, just straight up. I don't know if they need spacing between them or whatever, but they do need to be maintained by the bots, so... Okay, and we've got our training rooms here, so we can create a dumbbell and what the hell was that? Shooting range. And that's probably all we need to start off with, but we will also need a barracks for our soldier class dudes. So we've got some uh, hard rock that we can't actually beat through at the moment, so uh, I'll create a door there and build build a barracks and just around that corner I guess you can build the base quite big as you can see by drawing this mouse out you can see where the limits are so it's nowhere near the the scale of yeah yeah your evil geniuses and dungeon keepers and stuff like that but like I said I say it again we're early days we're early access 
Okay, I think one of our scientists is going to go do some target practice. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize that they would cross. That's all the target practice is going to do. Okay, fair play. <laughs> I don't like guns. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Uh, so we've got a little um, uh, notifications things down here. We can see that Sarah Jones gained level 3. Uh, Leticia is gained level 2. Maria is now on level 3. So our team 1, science team 1. Oh, hello. Science team 2 coming in. Uh, Exo, do you believe in ghosts? Um, <laughs> nothing is supernatural. Everything has a or will have a scientific explanation. No, never did. And I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Uh, sensitive topic, huh? Well, if you don't, how do you explain the rainbow spectral shapes lurking before us right now? Uh, I'm sorry, holy water is not part of your equipment. <laughs> There's probably another explanation. Okay, you want us to inspect it? Just so you know, we were sleeping in the desert when their eerie light woke us up. With that in mind, any instructions? Uh, so it looks like we have some some skill-based uh, responses that we can do to these. How how about a down-to-earth explanation? Scholar and knowledge is required. Talk to them. Or try sampling them. Uh, let's talk to them. Oh, dear. Mental health decreased by six, six, and six. Okay. So, however, they gained them. Uh, right. So, nothing. It's just weaving and waving. Oh. What? They disappeared. Well, I guess we're going back to sleep. Uh, why don't you tell each other some stories to lighten the mood, not ghost stories? Check everything one last time. Stay alert. Check everything. Gaining more XP. Fatigue increased. We will. Good night, Science Team 2. Okay. Science Team 2 mil mission. There are a few well, hours, but a few seconds left, basically. Science Team 1. Uh, are just chilling at the moment. I'm ready to send them through because they're level three. Oh, we've got communication. XO, the rainbow ghost came back. Uh, still out of holy water. <laughs> Hunger decreased. It's time I want results. All right, well, let's not push them. Um, let's make a little joke. Ah, I think we'll be fine. We've launched a few tests. The analysis is in progress. So... I'm 100% sure it's a natural phenomenon. Sorry. Um, <laughs> what does it say? It's a mirage created by the desert and an aura, meaning that our brain is playing a trick on us and merging them together. That's it? I'm afraid so, but it really is beautiful to behold. Think about it, too. The stellar wind entering the atmosphere, exciting the atoms, creating the aurora, and to this, an inferior... Mirage. And you've got our beautiful, unique Aurora Ghost. Ha! <laughs> Aurora Ghost reminds me of a song. Please don't. Um, if there's something strange in your <laughs> something strange in your neighborhood. I'm hanging up. Now what? Continue exploration. Continue your exploration, team team. I got a little bit of a nice little bit of humor. Nice little bit of humor. Right, so we're gonna turn this into a barracks. Oh, Team 2 is back. They brought nothing with them. But 62 science points and influence. That's pretty good, actually. 62 plus science points. Bang. Just like that. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Well done, Team 2. Get some rest. You know, relax and stuff. We're going to send Team 1 out now. Uh, 99 points to claim this. We don't have the influence to claim it, um, unfortunately. You can disconnect worlds as well, by the look of it. That's pretty cool. Let's go to EU518. No threats detected. Level 2 recommended. Create mission team 1. Go. Go team 1. Go, go, go. All right. So once, while team 2 are off doing that, we're going to create a barracks over here for our new soldiers. Once we uh, do a little recruitment campaign for them. So we can do that while it's building in fairness. We go to Gators. New recruitment campaign. We can now select the soldier class. And we can adjust the campaign's variance. So we can say 6,000, run it only for four days, and a budget of 
six thousand and we get six soldiers to choose from we can start that campaign four days remaining won't take very long at all and then we will have some soldiers there's our so the committee gave us 50 grand patents gave us 14 grand salaries were thirty three thousand. uh bioweapon was the trending topic soldier was the jumps this month's job popularity so there will be fewer applicants for this job this month it's perfect timing brilliant okay <laughs> great uh, so no new patents we can write at the moment because they didn't bring any bio samples back from that planet but hopefully when team one sort their life out and get through the gate wait did i actually send them i did send them yeah i think they're just waiting for everyone to be, be awake because letitia is still having a little snooze I set these beds around the wrong way, didn't I? <laughs> Fine, you can just uh, rotate them. There we go. Correct that. There we go. Okay. And here they go. Now they go. Team 1 is off on their adventure to a level 2 planet. So, be interesting to see if this scales up at all. I'm sure everything will be fine. I can't imagine it's going to like just kill them on on a, one of the starter planets, is it? Uh, Sarah Jones is too tired to go on a mission. I will sleep then. Whatever. All right, we've got eight soldiers to hire. So let's have a look at our candidates. Daisy Garcia. Uh, so we've got like uh, body, mind, perception, social, knowledge, logic. Okay. For scientists, we really want those ones. For soldiers, we really want these ones, right? Hiroku, Hiroki Kabayashi. He's a good soldier. 4,800 a month as well. That is hired. Getting straight off the bat. Great stuff, man. Jason Carter. American. Uh, good soldier, actually. Very good. Uh, Matthias Gomez. Brian Smith. He wants 6,000. Yeah, he's good, though. Um... Sophie Evans might be good to have have a Brit on board, you know, level head, you know, somebody who knows how to like talk to people and conquer foreign lands. Right, um, let's <laughs> hire that. Matthias Alameda, not bad, not bad, not bad. And John Wright, another American. All right, so we got uh, we got a Brit and a Japanese person. Let's get Jason in because I feel like having gun-ho American on a soldier team is probably something that is going to be needed. Let's be honest, we're going to need some muscle, right? Uh, uh, right, somebody knows what they're doing with the, the pointy end of a gun. Right? <laughs> we need, we need, we can set a team badge. So let's not choose that one, because that just looks too much like something else. Um... I like the compassy ones. Oh, here we go. Soldier badges. Now we're talking like I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Red. Red shirts. Um Fire Team One. Yeah. Create. Fire Team One. Fire Team One. Shooty Shooty Team One. Alright, we have. We have and, and uh the Japanese guys in charge. I don't know what makes them in charge. Is it just based on the first person I had to the team, I guess? All right. Hiro Hiroki is in charge. That's good, actually, because if it was either the American or the British in charge, they just wouldn't get along. So having the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> having the neutral participant in charge. That's a good thing. Okay. Uh, let's put some beds in here, then, for our soldier people. Probably a very inefficient layout of the room that I've done, but I don't care. It'll work. It'll work. I can cramp things up later if I need to, but um, yeah, space is a huge issue. I've made this barracks slightly too big. I can add another two, two scientists in there, probably. Okay. We have some soldiers. Here they are, look. Yes, they look like soldiers. Steve, what are you doing? Steve's like, let me show you how to use the gun. This is how you use the gun, okay, soldier people, man. Good. 
Well done, Steve. Well done, Steve. Okay, so Thanks Team 1 is still on mission. Thanks Team 2 are chilling. I'm hoping that their stats are looking pretty good, actually. Can we just go ahead and send them on another mission? Ooh, question mark, question mark, question mark. Unknown, unknown, unknown. Ooh. Oh, dear. All right, that's recommended level 4. Level 2, level 2. All right, let's just send them here. Connect. Have we got the power? Yeah. Great mission. Thanks Team 2. Go, go, go. Two teams off world at the same time. Madness, I say. Everything will be fine. I'm sure. Get the science team acclimated and make sure that they're happy. Uh, the sorry, that the uh, the fire team, fire team. Yeah. Uh, science team, get out. Go, Zoe. You gone. Unbelievable. Science team two, uh, and one are back though. They've brought eighteen bio samples with them. Oh, this is lovely. Yes, very nice. Very good work, team. Very good work. You guys are excellent. Great teaming. Lovely off-worlding work. Uh, here goes the uh, team two off on their Exagate mission. You have a go. Godspeed. You gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta, you gotta Hammond it up, right? Hammond from Texas. <laughs> I gotta hire a medic. Build a physical treatment dispenser. Build one diagnostic pod and one med bed. Build a med bed of minimum of 30 blocks. Okay. Research med bay. Okay. Let's do that then. Med bay is this guy here. Here we go. Med bay. Get the research going. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much. So now with the bio samples being studied, we get... Um, we can get some new patterns going. We can write them up. There's high demand for bio weapons. Uh, says all you need to know about the state of the world at the moment. Uh, <laughs> why we're trying to find other planets? Uh, yes. Okay, so we should start probably digging out the ready for the med bay to be researched. So I like the kind of science lab setup that I've got kind of going on there. I would like uh, the med bay to be accessible right from the gate room. I'm going to sort of mix it up a little bit. And I'm going to do a tile like that. Uh, I'll just make it a little bit bigger. I don't know what kind of buildings or things are required in the med bay um, until we get it and I can actually have a look at what's in there. Oops, I did not mean to do that. There we go. Hit the bots and we'll start digging. Bots will automatically go around and maintain equipment as well. They'll have little maintenance bars on them. The more they're used, the more they break down. Um, I don't know if we can get more bots later on. Oh, we have an injured gator. Okay. Alex Clark is injured. Lost one health point and two mental health points during the mission. Um, we need to. We need the diagnostic pods. Basically, we need the med bay. Oh, more than one was injured. Eighteen points of health. Steve is like, yeah, everything's great. <laughs> they did bring back a bunch of bio samples. So, um, the med bay is under construction, guys. We will get you fixed up as soon as we can. Please be patient. All right, I want to send the uh, the fire team off on a mission. Definitely want to send a fire team off on the mission. We can actually build. There are a couple of extra structures we can build here. Guard post where soldiers equipped with a weapon stand guard. It'd be good to have a couple. I don't know if that means that the base gets attacked by maybe like I don't know whether we get attacked through the gate itself or perhaps even from um, you know foreign powers and stuff like that. Maybe try and come down the, the mine shaft. Honestly. No idea, but it would be cool. If, especially if we, if we get attacked through the gate, that would be really cool. Alex Clark, what do you want? Needs diagnostic pods. I know, I know, it is building. You just have to wait and be patient. Okay, so we have 200 sciency points, so we can unlock... We can unlock probably the, the recreation room. Yes, we can. Boom, 200 exactly. Let's get that unlocked as well, because that will improve our science, uh, our team's stats and whatnot. Uh, okay, while we're waiting for that to build, let's go for... Recommend level is four on that one. I don't want to send a level one fire team through the gate on a level four planet. So we're going to send them through hmm, on this level one here, I think. Connect to that. Create a mission. Fire team one. Start mission. 
Bio Team 1 does not contain a class scientist that is required to handle this destination. Oh, okay. Hang on then. Cancel. Um, disconnect. So, would that be this one then? That all of these. Oh, what's that? That one. That one's got a funny little icon. Engineer must survey world. Oh, do we have no world that require fire teams at this time then? Unusual event on that one. Well, we can let's let, recommend level four though. <laughs> this is the problem. I don't want to send the team through a level level one team on a level four mission. They'll be crazy. It's like suicide. It's suicide. Okay, maybe we'll wait. We'll wait until we've done a little bit more exploration with the science team. Uh, and then we'll go off. Okay, so in the meantime, we can write a new patent. We got heat resistance and regen. Oh, regeneration. This one's going to be oh, 10,000. Make it so. Rick, yes. We are the masters of regeneration right now, I tell you. Heat resistance. That one's a good eight grand as well. Start writing. Go, 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 go. Make it happen. Okay, who's our who's in our writing chair at the moment? Letitia. Okay. Letitia's probably got like crazy writing skill right now. I think we should switch them back around again. So team two will be on base. Letitia's writing skill. It's, it's all right, actually. We could have probably just left her doing it a little bit longer. Never mind. We'll assign one from team two. Steve. Because uh, your two team members are injured. Because you failed. Failed them, Steve. Med Bay. Make it so. Come on. Let's go. So, Med Bay, we can... Well, we've got loads of stuff we can have in the Med Bay, look. Uh, med Bed. Diagnostic Pod. Phys physiological Diagnostic Desk. Physical Treatment Dispenser. Psychological Treatment Dispenser. Uh, curtain. Back decorative, but gives privacy during diagnostics and treatment. And what's this? Ambulance bot dock. Bot moves unconscious gators to the med bay and dead gators to the cremation unit. Oh my god. Surgery pod, cremation unit, intensive care unit. I don't want my gators to die, man. That's so harsh. Okay, so we'll have a diagnostic pod right there and we'll have a nice little curtain. You know, for privacy reasons, right there. Lovely. Lovely. We have another one, like, just there, so we have absolute privacy. And then we have some medical beds. Like that'll do, yep. Psychological diagnostic desk. Jesus, that's massive. We have, well, I think probably need the physical, physical dispenser first, okay? The psychological stuff. I feel like we need a separate room for, like a little, a room, a separate room. So let's do it. Let's have a little doorway. Yeah. And then we have a little shrinks office. Oh, we, salaries are 50,000 now. Paintings are earning 21,000. Oh dear. <laughs> um, gator treatment. Once a gator is diagnosed with a physical or psychological injury or condition, they can be treated by a medic on a med bed or automatically in the intensive care unit. However, the medic requires treatments provided by the physical and psychological treatment dispenser. Oh crap, we need a medic, don't we? Hold up. We need a recruitment campaign for a medic. We just need like two candidates. That's it. Two candidates. Two, two, maximum, there we go. Six grand for a medic. Let's get a medic in here. Let's go. That should be a nice quick campaign. Zoe Martin needs physical treatment at Medbed. Okay. Alex Clark, digestive infection, needs physical treatment at Medbed. Okay, so neither of them are psycho psycho treatments. <laughs> Sounds wrong, doesn't it? None of them have lost their mind. They're fine. Guys working out. Nice work, guys. Nice work, guys. Keep up the great work. Okay, so our little psych ward. Our psych ward is done. So we put a little door between that and, and the main med bay. And we'll have a little shrinks desk there. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, great. Alright, so do we have... Shit. Do we have a medic? So, oh god, these are rubbish. 
Okay. Okay. A Canadian, Australian, or uh, is it Chinese? And Wu. I'm thinking the Australian is probably better, mate. Mind strength, perception, social, knowledge, logic. Well, 5,000, 6,600. That is an expensive medic. Chloe Williams or Jessica Coat. Yeah, these just uh, stats are too bad, I think. Hey, we want a good medic. Let's get Chloe, Chloe in. Hiya! Get in here. Let's go. Fix my people. Fix them, damn it. Here she comes, look. Yes. Oh, yeah. Actually, you are geared up like such a good... <laughs> She's got freaking like leg holsters with, <laughs> with injections on them. EpiPen. <laughs> yes. All right. Team two is getting fixed up. Let's send team one through on nice, easy mission here. Uh, this guy. Connect. Create mission. Science team one. Start mission. Mission initiated. Make it so, science team. Make it so. All right, in the meantime, let's get the shrink's office going. Psychological shrink office. Here we go. And treatment dispenser. One day we'll have some decorations in here and it will be great. So do we assign we assign our medic to that? Yeah. <laughs> we may not need to until until somebody has a psychological, you know, condition melt down. May not be necessary. Here they go. What is that on the wall? Gonna... Unknown worlds. Yeah. Cool. Go guys. Go. Enjoy. Have fun. Don't die. But I want to know how they come back. This is this is my main question: is do they just press a button and it dials the thingy up? Is it a two-way wormhole? You know, because <laughs> there isn't like a receiving exegate on the other end, is it? They just sort of portal materializes somewhere in the middle of the planet, and off they go. They even send mounts through. They're so unprofessional. <laughs> okay, Maria, science team is too hungry to go on a mission. Fine. Uh, Alex Clark medical condition. Infection was cured. Yay! Alex is good. Chloe is healing Zoe. Um, has some weird pathing. Stop! <laughs> good job. <laughs> there is no physical treatment available. Wait, really? Zoe, get back in there. Get back in there. I didn't mean to unassign you. I was trying to look at your stat. Frostbite? Frostbite? How the fuck do you... What do you mean there's no physical treatment available? It's frostbite. What? 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 Does she need a, a surgery pod? Specific conditions. What specific conditions? Oh my god. Launch a mission with a soldier on the team. Okay. I think I might need to change the teams a little bit up. So where we've got three scientists on the team, I might need to take... A scientist off and make fire team. Oh, man. Okay. We'll take Zoe off because Zoe's got frostbite. And we'll take Jason off. But Jason. <laughs> Sorry, I meant Jason Statham then. Jason Statham. Uh, and we'll put Chloe on fire team one. Okay. So we'll, we'll mix it up a little bit. Wait. Ooh, Chloe. No, I don't put, put no not Chloe. I didn't mean put Chloe on there. I meant Zoe. Zoe on fire team one. Okay. Two soldiers to a scientist, two scientists to a soldier. I feel sorry for Jason right now. <laughs> Poor bugger. Uh we could get another medic and assign the medic to a team as well. Have a fourth team, but there we go. Okay, so we have a soldier on a team. So when team one come back, there they are. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Stop getting injured. You lot, yeah, I appreciate the, the samples, but go get treated, Maria. All right, go get treated. Team two, then let's send team two through to uh, 
This guy. This guy. Recommend level four. Ooh. Can't connect to it. Why not? Why not? Because it can't I can't connect to worlds. Right, really? Oh, I haven't got the power. I need more power, guys. More power. Okay, so that needs to be one, two, three for a generator, four for an extra bit. Build me, little robots. Build me some power generation capacity, you bastards. What have you got? Frostbite. Will you not stop getting frostbite? I can't treat frostbite. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, we got some more patents and stuff to, to do. Nice. Start writing that. Good job. I have to take Steve off of that and put somebody else on there. It's probably both teams have got injured members now. Frostbite. So I put Sarah. I put. I put Sarah or Letitia back on writing desk duty. Right stuff, because your team is injured, and I need to research med bay. Intensive care. So it requires 600 science points, which I have 86 at the moment. These guys are going to be like bedded up for ages, then basically, <laughs> unless they just get better. You don't just get better from frostbite, do you? <laughs> That's something you just get better from. That's going to take a while. All right, power plan. I, I don't like that you have to build the room. They then lay the corridor thing. And then you have to lay the power plan on top of that. It just seems to make it like take a really long time. Yeah. So they have to like build it three times almost, you know? All right, power is online. So let's send, send a guy, connect to that and create mission. I can't remember which team it was that had the soldier on it now. Was it team two? <laughs> team two, yeah, because team one's injured. Yep. Great mission. Team two. Go. Very nice. I do wonder if you can make the teams... I'm pretty sure you can make the teams bigger. Oh, no, they are just three out of three. Each team is the maximum of three. Damn. Be cool to have four and five man teams. Wonder if we can ha unlock that later. Oh, salaries are up to fifty six thousand now, so we are over this whole kind of. The patterns are doing forty thousand. We are slowly catching up, but uh, yeah, it's it is going to take a while. Right, team two, Jason Carter's first mission through the old orifice. Good luck, Jason. Steve, show match done. <laughs> I'm uneasy seeing soldiers with scientists, but I suppose the committee have a point. Not everything nor everyone will meet. We meet out there might be friendly. Great job with the self-care too. Can't have gators getting God knows what on their faces without a med bay. Cool. Uh, you know what? Would further scientific progress faster than studying mere plants and samples? Specimens. Take it from live animals. Imagine the new theories your scientists could devise to write even more profitable patents. And now we don't care how cute the alien critters are. Oh. <laughs> that sounds great. Specimen containment. Okay. Uh, research specimen study. Build a specimen containment. Build a specimen study console. Recover specimen and study specimen. That's I suppose. Okay, so that's the laboratory. We need 200 science points to unlock that. All right. Well, we need to go on more missions then, but I also kind of need to treat these guys. Can I fire them? <laughs> Can I just sack them? You got frostbite. Fired. Uh, frostbite. You can't. You just bid them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't treat you, so I'm just going to sack you. Yeah? Uh, bye, Zoe. 
Who are my two frostbites? Maria and Zoe. Oh, these scientists. Oh, dear. Bye bye. And bye bye. Oh, man, this sounds brutal. Are you sure you want to fire? Yeah, you're fired. And fire. Yeah, you're fired. Bye. Get out. You're done. I can't treat you. Go and get treated. <laughs> and just sack them. <laughs> and then uh, we can go back to our original campaigns, I think, can't we? Oh, they've, they've expired. Okay, so I need two scientists. Two scientists, please. Oh, that'll do. That'll give me three. <laughs> yeah. It feels bad, man. But uh, also, you know, this is business. This is business. And I can't have two lame scientists occupying my med bay when there may be, like, a real emergency. Wow, you don't even see them go up the mine shaft. They just despawn. Brutal. Brutal. But, uh, yeah, whatever. They'll deal with it. They will deal with it. Everything's looking good. Right, I feel like uh, we can probably dissolve Fire Team 1 completely and put a, a soldier on to... Put a soldier on there. So, we put Sophie on there. Sophie. Yeah. Um, it might be good to put a medic on, on a team. Put Chloe on a team. We'll have a scientist there as well. And that way we've got scientist, soldier, and a medic on a team. That'd be cool, right? Oh, brilliant. Jason's first mission and he gets feckin' injured. Better not be frostbite, Jason. Otherwise, you're fired, mate. What you got? Entering diagnostic pod. Just be a laceration, yeah? In you go. Zappy, zappy, zappy. Chloe's off to do some weights. <laughs> you have to wait. What have we got, Jason? What have we got? What have we got? Respiratory infection. That's fine. We can fix that. We can fix some basic ass freaking respiratory infection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pneumonia, no problem. All right, so I've unlocked the recreation room now. So I figured we'd uh, we'd build that. I'm going to be expanding this lab, I imagine, for quite a while. So let's build it here. Two entrances, like an absolute badass. All right, we have some scientists. Lovely. Grace. Wow, Grace, you suck. Ren. A little bit better. Uh, okay, Megan. And... Ooh, okay. Yara. Yara's. No logic and no knowledge. Okay, so we'll hire Ren. And it's between a Brit and an Australian. Not biased. <laughs> a little bit biased. <laughs> Why did I hire two scientists? Uh, we'll put we'll put Megan on Fire Team One. There we go. Look at Ren. I don't know. Put Ren on the writing desk. We could write a pattern. None available. None available. Okay, fine. No pains, Wayne. Okay, it's time to send some teams through then. Oh, hang on. Who's trying to talk to me? No, everything's fine. Team. Team, team. Team, team. Team, team, team. Team two. Make it hurt. Make it happen. Make it so. Got 150 influence now, so I could actually expand my territory a little bit. We can claim 56 there. Claim 99. Oh, yeah. Our territory is looking delicious. Team one. Go. Send all three teams off at the same time. This will be fine. I don't see any problems with this whatsoever. Fire team. Go. Three teams off world all at the same time. Absolute insanity. He's waiting to start their mission. He's waiting to start their mission. Everybody needs sleep and eat and eat and sleep and stuff. You guys all need to sync up so that you get through the gate at the same time, yeah? Let's go. Team two, the first to disembark. This says a lot about the other teams. Team two are on it. Jason healed. Back on his feet. Good to go. The real man. Bit of pneumonia. Doesn't stop him from gate travel. Off they go. Good job, team two. Nice. Team one are up next. 
Head by Sarah Jones. Oh, hello. Team 2 are in contact already. XO, you won't believe this. We scared a young alien deer. I guess one of their ten legs was broken, but it still managed to run away. We followed it, but it jumped into a deep pond. Guess what? When it came out, its leg was healed. What's in the pond? What's in that pond? The water is green. The pond is filled with a pink, yellow, and blue vines. We think the water is the cause of this sudden miracle. Get the equipment in the pond and take some readings. Will do. We'll call you back when we have the results. Oh. I failed a test on log. They gained a bunch of experience. Okay, speak soon. Chloe Williams is too hungry to go on a mission. There's no food available for gators. That's why I have two vending machines, because that happens with alarming regularity, and it takes freaking ages for the bots to fill them up again. Uh, team 3. Oh, hello. That's Team 2 back. Hey, XO, listen, it's the vines. The tricolored vines. They release toxins, which accelerate cell repair. This is an incredible discovery. It is. Can you take a closer look? How about taking a sample? Sample. Got one. These tricolored vines are really incredible. Okay, I think we'll keep going. Good luck. Awaiting new instructions. Continue exploring, dumbass. <laughs> Blow more. You got healing vines, for crying out loud. That's a pretty decent discovery. Yeah, soon we'll have the dermal regenerator from Star Trek, and that'll be our pattern. It'll be great. Team 3 is waiting on Chloe, who's having a nap. Good job, Chloe. You haven't even got your eyes closed. Get up! Get to work! Don't fake snore at me. Unbelievable. Team 2 are back with 137 research points, 11 influence, uh, and, and 22 samples between them. Very nice. No injuries. Well done, Jason. You didn't fall over and get pneumonia this time. Good job. Fantastic work by everybody there. The recreation room is going up. Team 3 are finally starting their mission that uh, Chloe's had a nap. Well done, guys. Hope the rest of you don't fall asleep while you're out there because we're waiting for Chloe. Enjoy. Have fun. Stay safe. All right, samples are in. Lovely stuff. With that amount of uh, research points, we can unlock the specimen stuff now. Pants. Write a new one. Regeneration again. Only one theory, though. Start writing, I guess. Make more money. Make more money. Fabulous. That was quick. Team Team One is back with a bunch more samples. And no injuries. Lovely stuff. What well up, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Exagate Initiative. We're still very much in the early game, and I would like to see how far this goes. Based on the structures that we can still build, the workshop for engineers, the armory, and the library, and who knows? Oh, we can add more builders, look. Look at that. Didn't even know that. There you go. Who knows where this game is going to go? I'm really interested to see if we do get, like, attacks through the gate or through the mine shaft something like that it'd be great to expand the base out as well i really hope they add more decorative options um and really sort of scale it up to the level that evil genius 2 is at or even evil genius 1 for that matter you know um we need more options to customize our underground base control stations as well it's you know all these things they need to happen but it's an exciting new project uh, very much big thank you to Michael as well who gifted this game to me. Um, thank you, Michael. <laughs> you absolute rebel. Um, great stuff. I hope you've enjoyed. Do let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, if you'd like to see a couple more episodes, I'd happily produce them for you. Just let me know. And hopefully either way, I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.